Have you ever been shocked at the sheer complexity of the code behind 3D games on Scratch? Well, what if I tell you that all these games revolve around one simple 3D engine, so simple that anyone can make it in just 5 minutes. I will guide you step by step on how to make this program, and by the end of the video, you will finally understand how the 3D system works in Scratch. Let's start by drawing a square. Create a sprite and draw a small dot as its costume. Import pen, when flat clicked, pen size to 2, forever, erase all, pen down, and 4 go to blocks to draw the shape. Nice. The problem is that this square has a fixed position Bruh. and cannot move. Let's create two variables, camera x and camera y, to allow us to adjust the x and y positions of the square. We also need a custom block. Go to X, input X, label Y, input Y, run without screen refresh. In the block, put go to X, X plus camera X, Y, Y plus camera Y. Now you can simply replace the go to blocks with the new custom block like so. I hope it makes sense. X and Y are fixed values that define the square's proportions, while camera X and camera Y are some numbers that we'll be adding to alter the coordinates of the shape. If we add sliders to our variables and adjust the range, we can now freely move the square across the screen. Now you may notice this line slant a little. To resolve this issue, add go to x negative 20 y 20 over here and pen up at the end. Wonderful. But now comes the fun part, making this 3D. Now since we're dealing with three dimensions, we need a new input for the custom block, z, and another variable, camera z. But what is z? In short. The z-axis is the depth. So look, if this is z0, then this would be z1, z2, z3, and so on. Now this x-coordinate will equal x plus camera x divided by z plus camera z. Now why is that the case? Let's observe this dot on our square. As the z-value increases, the square will get further and further away from us, and the x-coordinate of our dot will decrease and decrease and approach 0. If you are good at math, you know that the bigger the divisor, the smaller the overall value will be, therefore making the object appear smaller on the screen. Let me know if I explained that well. Anyway, it's the same thing for Y, so let's change the code. Now Scratch is messed up when it comes to 3D, so if we actually want to see what we've done, we'll have to zoom in by some scale factor, that is FOV, field of view. What you can do now is multiply x and y by 0.05 times FOV, just to make the numbers nice. Make sure to change the z values to 1, and here, we can now control the square in all three dimensions. What I don't like, however, is that the z changes in huge chunks. To make it smoother, just multiply camera z by 0.1. This is my personal preference, so feel free to experiment with all these values to find what works best for you. Alright, time to make it a cube. What you want to do is to create a three-dimensional path for the dot to take so it draws a cube. This is what the code looks like, but you can adjust it so it draws any other shape of your choice. And as a finishing touch, I'll hide the dot, set the pen color to red, and the background black, as well as set keyboard controls for the camera position. And there you go, a fundamental 3D engine. Just to show you this is legit, I turned this 3D engine into an actual game, and I'll be making a step-by-step -step guide to allow you to create this as well. So be sure to subscribe to not miss it out, and I'll see you in the next one.